time to jump into the time machine back to the far off lands of week two. Where yeah. we have a game between Turnout 8 and Wodar 9. We're not just getting around to this. We're not that uh, lazy. Uh, it's more just that it wasn't played until now. Wodar and Turnout were not able to schedule their match until recently. Wodar, in the meantime, started off 3 and 0, oh, I believe it was, just rampaging right away. Show and these young whippersnappers in gold uh, what the old guard can do. Um, certainly, very impressive start from Wodar. Lost pretty badly to Yeesh, though, uh, on the cast. We saw 7 nothing, a shutout in gold. Very strange. Um, Yeesh just dominated that match, of course. Wodar trying to right the ship against someone who has mostly lost their games in gold so far in turnout eight. Certainly one of those things you would not necessarily credit as a free win because there are no free wins at this level, uh, but something that Wodar would hope to win to get back on track. And Wodar with the signature declining to ban a map. I think I think he may well be to this date the only person in SEL to do it, and he does it all the time. Yeah, we see it from Checker, too, but I don't know. I think Wodar is actually even more dedicated to it. They're certainly just more or less the two of them, though. We have to create that graphic on your seeing on screen. We have to create that just for Wodar and Checker. (laughs) If it weren't for them, we wouldn't even need it. That being said, we do get to watch some more Tayen. And we might finally get to see some Courtyard and Ballroom today as well. Yeah, it's been a while. And turnout eight just banning balcony because water likes balcony. Nothing complicated there. Um, not, if complaining. Balcony yeah, not complaining. Balcony is hard to cast. Yeah, but Tayen is fun to cast. So let's get started. Oh, absolutely. Tayen is a blast. Let's jump right on into it. Turnout eight opening up the match on the spy side. Wodar on the sniper in three, two, one, playing it. And uh, fellow caster Opie reminding me that there were a rush of games today in particular that had been outstanding back to back. Both of these players had played right before this match and lost against other opponents. Green test Purloin off the top of the game for turnout eight in the back behind the Soji. Those are hard to spot. Yeah. Green test on the first flirt as well. Brings us up to 51% nice and early. And we're in a reasonable position for some reverse drive by bugs if the front of the conversation fills up, which it didn't, so we left. Yeah, when the front conversation is full, there's so much you can get up to. So much no good you can get up to in the back. But when it's not, it's actually amazing how exposed everything is. It's very binary. Absolutely. Turnout 8 stepping back for a second flirt, although across the conversation this time, so it's not going to be a two flirt available, which is fine because we're going to hit the green flirt anyways. It's 78% now. Stepping in to see if we can get a, bu- uh, a contact, sorry. And DA leaves right afterwards. At least they didn't leave during the banana bread. That's something. Small mercies, I guess. That's true. Lots and lots of movement from Turnout 8 as we step out of the conversation into Blue Bookcase to pick up an attempted difficult fingerprint, which did not take, and uh, the book itself being removed from its home. Uh, 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 this is, it looks fine from the sniper mm-hmm. side. Yeah. It's not fine, but it looks fine. There's the flirt getting finished. Yeah, and this, by the way, a good fit for Turnout. Turnout is well-known, has been for years, as being a very aggressive spy, and the venues have actually caught up to his play style. A couple of people stepping out of conversation as the white contact is coming off. Oh, look at this going for the microfilm out in the back, but not enough cover. The shot is there, and Wodar with the keen eyes at the silhouette. Able to make it happen on the first game. I mean, I've got to take issue with a couple things there. One is that if you go a little bit more to the side, you have all the occlusion of the actual conversation circles. That could be more suspicious too, so it's not a no-brainer. I get it. But here's the thing. Doing it in the back like that, you're giving them the left-to-right silhouette, which makes that arm that much more visible. From the side, it's much harder to see. So I don't see the advantage in doing it there instead of the bookcase. If he had any sort of cover... Anything yeah. covering that arm, it mm-hmm. would have been glorious because, especially on the silhouette, the head turn is hard to see on the twins. 
Yeah, it really is. So I, I don't I don't quite like the decision there. And I think, by the way, I think you should have taken a bug on that collision too because you're already going to be potentially credit for it here in all yeah. places. So I think you might as well take it. Um, yeah, but turn out aggressive as always, and this time it gets him. Either way, now he's on the sniper side with a game already slipped away from the side. Looking to see if he can make a statement early on in three, two, one, playing. He would love to emerge from the chaos of Tan with an early lead. Again, Wodar suffered a tough loss last week. This is the kind of opponent he needs to beat if he wants to fend off Lazy Bear and or Opie rights for second place in gold. Opening off the game with an early white test for 34%. Nothing too much to say in conversation with a suspected double agent. Ambassador is in a vulnerable position, but being guarded jealously. Looks like Wardar might hang around for a timer flirt, but the seduction target has other things in mind. Unfortunately, they both have to hang around for that to work. Very true. Wodar, I think, wanted to get in conversation next to the seduction target there, but there was just not enough room. Don't want to time out here. Turnout 8 is zoom, is moving all the way to the right to see that person at Windows. Very worried about potential hidden time ads there in the back. A lot of people like those. Banana bread. Contact comes off. Decides to split for it and grab the bug while he's at it. A beautiful little play from Wodar while Turnout is getting the low lights. Yeah, he zoomed out. Turnout zoomed out to kind of get that snapshot of the party I'm always talking about, to see all the movement and everything. And that's when the bug happens. Really well-timed and suddenly in a really good position here. The question is, would he, will he risk finishing inspects after this? Or will he try to finish with something else? There's two minutes left, so it'd be pretty darn powerful if he finishes the flirt and inspects and dares him to shoot him right away. Absolutely, but the seduction target once again is not cooperating. Well, you could do the inspects first. No, no need to uh, get the flirt done right away. And then an innocuous talk at the end. Instead, he's going to get this done first. And I wonder if he's going to perch himself in a good position and then just purloin. Uh, he might just. He's getting offered the drink. Does not take it. I think he's going to go for the statues instead. Minute and 30 left to play, and it's just the one statue visit behind the Soji here. Make Turnout 8 a little bit worried about the bug, but he's not even looking. Wodar is completely clean here. He's guarding that bug, which we know has already happened, and that's an indication that he is really not thinking of shooting here. Wodar could not have bugged behind the Soji because he was holding a statue the whole time. A beautiful spy game from the man with no bands. <laughs> I like it. It's a good nickname. Not that Wardar needs one because he is an he he is an elemental force. There's wind, water, fire, heart. If you like Captain Planet, and there's Wodar, and that is Wodar playing a very unwodar like game. It's just calculated aggression. It's just a really really clean Tan game. That is the prototypical go ahead and take this shot Tan game. Wodar the ninth, the banless, the Lord of Chaos. Now up by two as we step into the next round of Spy Party. Turn out eight back on the sniper side. Wodar, sorry, back, turn out eight back on the spy side. Wodar on the sniper in three, two, one, playing it. And look who the spy is. If you can see them, that is. If you can see them, indeed. You didn't see him bug. Already got a bug. It's, He's it's small. Just that small. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure when you select Smallman on Tayan, the bug comes pre-checked. Yeah, I think so. I it think so. certainly feels that way. It's about as suspicious as a flirt. Grabs a briefcase as well. Turnout 8 is certainly moving. Yeah, and this is, this is on brand for Turnout 8. I was saying an aggressive spy. Boy, he held on to that for a long time right there before returning yeah. it. I kind of like it, actually. Did. Spies don't normally wait as long as they should. And frankly, they don't wait long enough after the drop-off either. That part was quick. Yeah. Either way, it looks like it was pretty clean. He's high lit, but he's small man. Yeah, that might happen just because. So I mentioned he comes pre-checked with bug checked off already. Might as well come pre-high lit half the time. This is true. That's just how he comes out of the box. That's just, that's, also, that's... picked up an early flirt for 51%. That's pretty darn to add to make it even tougher to catch this little spy. 
He's, he might two flirt. Banana red. Banana split on the board, steps all the way back to the back of the party, completely invisible. Yeah, and the Except way for... Smallman, the way Smallman sort of balances with all this craziness is that they're really suspicious if they finish inspects too, because you're yeah. crediting a lot of other stuff. So it forces you to think about doing what turnout is doing, which is get that early fingerprint instead so you can finish without going to statues because Smallman at statues, oh boy. Or there's now a print on the very front statue, so on the side there, which would not finish the inspect. You definitely have to make sure the, the sniper doesn't confuse it for the oh, middle that statue. Was too bad. <laughs> no, but it was just a just a mass of silhouettes there, so it's not too bad. Sometimes though, it can be very difficult for the sniper to be sure about which statue you're taking if there's a lot of visitors too, and you can get a panicked shot. In this case, oh boy, is he really thinking about just finishing inspects here? He might be. He's at the back statues now. No fingerprint is no longer hot on the front one. <laughs> Is able to get a second flirt though, up to 85%, and in conversation, actually, no, never mind, we've already got the contact. So he misses the pad, which means he can't get the fingerprint off the statue to finish, which means in order to get the fingerprint off the statue, he'd be completing fingerprint and inspects. That's He's too much go potentially. for it anyways, it's a difficult test. Can he hit it? We can finish, yeah, he can finish the inspects either way. And then flirt inspects the done, does not hit the fingerprint. So he's got to hit the flirt instead. 30 seconds. But either way, the thing was, he's completing two soft missions, so if the sniper is on either of them, potentially, that's the big risk there. That was the problem with getting that's the fingerprint true. there. But talking for the win, barely even visible, Smallman gets it done for turnout, and he is now on the board. Yeah, I actually feel like that could have been thrown away there at the end, certainly. In fact, I would actually think another briefcase or a, f a fingerprint anywhere else actually might have been a little bit safer, if possible. But it works out. Doesn't get shot for the inspect, even though that really, not the flirt, was the real moment of truth. It was dangerous, but he got it done and is now on the sniper side of KN looking to try to tie things up in three, two, one, playing it. And uh-oh. It's the all bookshelf Shoji set up. Book, uh, man, having the Soji all on one side is, at least the first two, is a huge boon for the sniper. Yeah, I don't think there's a huge difference between the setups. I really think, and I say this all the time, as long as the first and second are on opposite sides. You know, that's, that's generally fine. But when you get two or more on one side, you really limit your options. Now, it does create other options, too. But suddenly, let's say you didn't feel like doing microfilm. Let's say your opponent is really good at catching microfilm even here, or at least relative to other snipers. Suddenly, you kind of have to think about doing it even if you hadn't planned to. This is true. Wodar going for the briefcase early on. Picks up that fingerprint. And I guess with all the Shoji talk, now's as good a time as any to announce that pretty soon on the site, now that we have 10 games in from Season 5 on Spy Party fans, we are going to allow you to search by Shoji setup as well to get stats for just certain oh configurations. God. Yeah, why not? And there'll be a fun way to do it, too, so stay tuned. Absolutely. If you guys are looking for stats of any sort, absolutely go to spypartyfans.com. We've got all sorts of SCL goodness on there. Nordar what picks up a green bookcase and steps out to see if he can get a flirt. Uh, section target, nopes, so he goes back. And he's gotten the fingerprint done already in half a flirt. This is just really solid again for Modar, playing a very similarly efficient game to last time. Absolutely. 85% on the flirt now. The ambassador comes in to say hi. But there, we have a book, so we can't, we can't wave at him. Can't bug through the book. I'd accidentally plant the microfilm instead of the bug, and that just wouldn't do. And that's a highlight for just walking around outside the conversation for a couple of seconds there. Wodar could not quite find the pad, and it might mar what was looking like a really clean game up until this point. Absolutely. Suddenly things are looking a little bit more dangerous just because of the weird movement. 
He's got two missions done, green book in hand. There's the flirt done as well. If he can get this book away cleanly, that's the game. But do you think he'll be able to? He's going to try now. Steps in the blue bookcase. No reaction from turnout. Not as of yet. I think this might be clean. It, oh, it looks like he's thinking about it, but I don't think he knows where it's from. He might be looking for an animation and not a dump. Moment of truth. I don't think he's going to take the shot. He the does indeed oh. not take the shot, and Wodar comes out of the first map 3-1. to one. The moment of truth passes, and Wodar passes the test. He manages to take 3 out of 4 on the Chaos of Tayen. Let's see if he can leverage that lead. And now, stepping into a map we haven't seen yet this evening, it's going to be Courtyard, which back in the day used to be the most standard run-of-the-mill sniper favored thing in the game but this season we have seen some truly impressive truly creative spy play on this map and i expect nothing less from these two let's see how turnout eight opens things up in three two one playing it for a sniper tay on a courtyard night and day or nightmare and dream if you'd rather tay you feel so powerless everything is so covered on courtyard you feel so powerful you can see everything from above like a god in the sky raining down lightning bolts on the spy you can see all of it so easily it's very jarring to go from something like tay to something like this oh that bug it was right in the sniper's face but it was absolutely Perfect execution. Turnout eight. Talking about creative spy play. That was one of the boldest bugs I've ever seen. They say you want to get the hardtail done before the inspects with the highlight. Uh, usually they don't mean immediately before like that. That just happens bam, bam. And with two and a half minutes on the clock, the inspects are done. The hardtail is done. And now you can just flirt and BB to win as long as they don't mess up. This is almost a foregone conclusion. There's no indication on Wodar's side that they even suspect the bug right now. They are watching other things just as fervently. Courtyard is all about that first hard tell. Oh, he did time at it. Why did he time at? Not a good choice. I just don't see the. I, I don't see the upside here. I think this is turnout is uh, very talented sometimes and can string hard tells together like just a creative virtuoso madman. But the downside of that aggression is that you have trouble letting your foot up off the gas. You just do stuff. You just keep doing stuff. You have this game in hand right now, unless you think you're a huge suspect for the bug. And if you are, the time ad doesn't make sense anyway. So you just got to flirt and BB to win. You don't have to do stuff all the time. You really just need to be idling and getting those flirts done right now. As I was now. saying, Courtyard as a venue is all about that hardtail. If you can get away with the hardtail, nine times out of 10, you can win the game as spy. But Turnout 8 got away with that hard tell. And uh, then things start. He hit the time ad. He had some awkward pathing. Now he's got the flirt done, which is very good. And still two, uh, just under two minutes on the spike. There were a lot of little things that happened that did not need to. I don't think it's going to come back to bite him. He just needs this contact and it's game over. There it is. Mission win cooldown. Wodar does not look either. One person had a conversation. And on top of it, on top of all that, it's an absolutely brilliant banana bread too anyway. Uh, turnout 8, if he'd hit a white test on that time ad, could have given that game away so easily. And how much would it have hurt to lose on Courtyard after a bug to a white time ad you didn't need? But it doesn't matter. Instead, if you're trying to tilt your opponent, this might be how you do it. A quick, a fit Turnout 8. You're not wrong. And Wodar is certainly known to be a man who's prone to emotions. Yeah, he's he's... He's, he's got momentum. Wodar, when he is playing well, can just crush you, and he can be so unpredictable. When he's having a tough time, things can snowball. It works either way. So if you're Wodar, what you do in this game could be very, very important. A risky proposition, but it works out. If Wodar can keep his lead here, then he's still in a very good position. But if Turnout 8 finds the sniper win, that could easily have been the turning point of the set. Let's find out how this 
Very pivotal game turns out in three, two, one, playing it. And Wardar could win or lose, but I'm more interested in whether or not he plays a good, solid, patient game or does something erratic. So you can play a good game here, a nice, calm game, keep your composure, lose anyway. It's courtyard. But I want to see how he plays it to determine how he's reacting to what has to be a very tough loss there. Well, a very by-the-book start for 51% on the early flirt. Nothing too crazy so far. No. He hasn't uh, had much time for it. <laughs> right, let's, let's give him a chance to be crazy. There's still plenty of room for crazy later. Ambassador. Tempting Wodar into trying something. Wodar does not give in to temptation. Picks up a contact instead with red. very good timing. There is one person out of conversation. Uh, actually, two, my bad. And then there were two people in conversation by themselves as well. Those are but, pretty high probability lowlights if you want to take them. But Turnout's not going to take them. He's going to play it safe. Wodar with the second flirt up to 85%, just hanging out in this conversation, getting what he can done. Just under two minutes now and a lot of progress from Wodar. This is a good start to the game, but we haven't even seen Wodar glance at a hardtail yet. We haven't seen him glance anywhere other than the person next to him in this conversation. He spent the entire game here since he entered. And the fact that he resisted that bug, by the way, uh, really good sign. You know, he's, he's yeah. really just playing the standard game so far. And it didn't really make sense anyway. If he were feeling frustrated and aggressive, he might have gone for that bug, but he didn't. There's the flirt done with a minute and 30 to play. Statues and a hard tell. The classic conundrum of Courtyard. It's more of a conundrum than usual because, as you can see, not that many people have gone to statues so far. This has not been a particularly helpful party so far. Well, now we step into statues, pick up that highlight. There's the inspects done. One minute for a hard tell. This is exactly what you always see. This is the most common problem on Courtyard as spy. Three missions done, we're high lit, we need a hard tell, we have one minute to do it. How do we play it? I really thought for a second there he was going to go to the other statue and swap because the list and the ambassador were on the other side. Instead, it's going to be a purloin, it's going to be a white, it's and I don't see how this test. works. It's a white test! Oh no. List is gone, turnout is on it, the shot comes off, and turnout has evened up the match. That's unfortunate. I think a swap might have been an interesting choice there, again, because the sniper's attention was so split, but he also just didn't get a whole lot of help. The party was so serene, there was really nothing else to look at. Wardart seems to be keeping his head, though. It was, yeah, it wasn't a bad game at all. You know, the way he planned it out, certainly. Uh, got it down to the last minute, did his hard tell. Sometimes you white instead of green, and sometimes you get shot. It's still courtyard. It's not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. Either way, turnout. Back on the spy side, now even. Water on the sniper in three, two, one, playing it. Opening with a time ad. Aborts the time ad. Picks up a flirt for 34%. Uh, now he's got the double agent in conversation with him. Uh, so I mentioned turnout really likes to do stuff. Uh, still doing it. The bread. There's. There's the banana split coming off. Gets a highlight for it. This is, there is stuff happening. Stuff is always happening uh, with Turnout. That's what's going on. Turnout came here to do missions and chew bubble gum. And guess what he's out of? Where are we going next? It's back into the selection target for the next flirt. Another white test brings us up to 68%, so we're going to have to make sure we get nice and close on the last one, but it's still 2 minutes and 15 seconds to play. We've got tons of time for it. Now, heading towards the double agent, but not to the double agent. I mean, it Another looks like... time ad! <laughs> it looks like he's checking his watch, but he's moving around so much, he might as well be checking his Fitbit. You're not wrong. Back in conversation with the suction target. There's that mission done. Two minutes and 40 left to play. 
What an odd game this has been. I mean, it's odd for most spies, but for Turnout 8, it's just another spy game. All right, so now that we've got two missions done, it looks like we're going to start playing for the fingerprints. It's opens, more than early enough, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Opens things up. That Whoa. was Whoa. not how you briefcase. There were a couple of steps where he was walking away from the ambassador there. And I think this is one of those things where however this game turns out, Wodar has to look at that replay and say, oh boy, did I uh, let him get away with some stuff there? Yeah, absolutely. This is... Turnout has been playing this fast and loose. It's working out for him so far. He does have a highlight before statues. That is certainly something to keep in mind. And I'm confused. Turnout's been sitting here for almost 10 full seconds. Yeah, this is, this is true. He's got to go to the statues at some point, and he's got to find one... Maybe he's out of breath, and that drink is Gatorade. I love it. It's like, it's like when they, hand, they hold those drinks out at marathons, you know? It's like that. Time's starting to run down, though. One minute, and just now we're heading into statues. It's going to be 45 seconds by the time we're done here, but the fingerprint is on the statue, so it might not matter at all. The shot comes off. Wodar is on top of things on the sniper side this time. And he's able to find that win. Turnout 8 needs to find another game on the sniper side. Needs to hold serve, as you will, to go into the next map tied at 3. Let's see if he can make it happen. In three, two, one, playing it. We tend to root for the spy, and we tend to root for the underdog just naturally, and turn out eight technically both. And yet it was so hard to root for the spy in that particular game because of the affront to dignity of all the moving around and all the fidgeting and all the little animation breaks. You kind of wanted Wodar to say, enough, I caught one. Yeah. Uh, and he did. He at least caught the fingerprint at the end, if nothing else. <laughs> Absolutely. But it works Wodar. for you sometimes. It works on Tayan a lot better yeah. than it works on Courtyard, though, doesn't it? That's true. Wodar now on the spy side. Very, very slow start. Nothing has happened so far. It's going and to be the contact to open the game, which is very unusual. But it was a very good contact. Three possible low lights. Teal was really close, so she doesn't get the low light. Oh, Queen does. So he does missed take three entry, low lights, ultimately. Missed entry to conversation as well, but not seen. Picks up 51% on a green flirt for his troubles, but he wound up working out. Yeah, Wodar's had a couple issues with pads, I think, so far, but it hasn't hurt him yet. And by the way, he had an issue, uh, the same issue with the same character on Tayen, where he missed that conversation circle, too, but he on, went on to win that one anyway. Early fingerprint off the briefcase with two minutes to play. It's actually kind of funny. Turnout 8 plays in a way that Turnout 8 would not catch. He does those kind of things, those kind of breaks, but he also doesn't catch them very often. This is true. I think most snipers are like that. Yeah, there's a real symmetry between your play styles very often, unless you really force yourself out of it, which is a very hard thing to do. Flirt is now done. The two flirt has occurred. Minute and 30 seconds to play. We're highlight. We still need to visit statues. We still need another fingerprint. Very, very similar situation to last game. And look at how it's lining up. Right around the corner, you've got both of those missions done in one fell swoop. Just like last time, how on this is turnout? Ambassador steps away. A little bit of time delay before we chase. One I think, minute. I think you got to try it. You got to make him shoot. If he missed a fingerprint, you win. If he's not willing to credit all the soft tails, you win. You'll take those odds of spy on courtyard. And here we go. As I said, a little bit of time delay. The shot comes off. I think we may have just watched the same game twice, but with different <laughs> players. And maybe different reasons. There was a bump with the amp at the end that was kind of unfortunate. I don't think he was crediting a bug, but wouldn't that be a shame if that were the reason why? More likely just an instant shot for the purloin. But I'm not sure. If he credited the bug, that is really unfortunate. Either way, we're tied at four. 
stepping in to modern it's going to be turnout eight who started the match behind and brought it back on courtyard to tie things up and is now has his fate in his own hands as he steps into modern in three two one playing it this is a little more turnout speed if you're wodar the problem is that you didn't hurt him enough maybe on courtyard given how it doesn't work with his style it works with tayan and it works a bit with modern although not but aggression can be overlooked here because there's so much movement modern is a map with very long walking distances and a lot to get done so time management is very crucial here turnout eight's want of constant movement will definitely be a boon to him on this map yeah and going into this wodar had played i think 13 modern games had not won a spy game but had won all his sniper games was able to pick up a flirt at the bar, looks to pick up another one at the windows. I don't think he's quite in range for the two flirts, but it doesn't matter because he hits the white test and a little bit of distance never hurt anybody at the windows. In conversation yep. with the double agent, lots of people in conversations as well. Although the suspect, one of the suspected double agents is that bookcase. Yeah, this is not as much movement as you normally see on Modern after that early bar rush. Uh, by the way, turnout on Modern, very similar to Wodar. Not as skewed, but similar in the sense of very few spy wins and mostly sniper wins. Contact comes off for three low lights. That's very good. Excellent. Excellent, yes. And that could really help. There's the flirt done as well. Still just under three minutes to play. Wodar. Uh, sorry, Turnout 8 is definitely making the most of his movements and making a lot of them. Neutral it for not doing anything with the with the bar. That's where the highlight came from, and that's why it's no longer there. That's always an interesting decision. When you highlight for bar, certainly Perlin goes off, you've got it automatically narrowed down. That works pretty well on Modern because it's not the only hard tell you have to do, potentially. you got to do a lot of other missions, four soft tells or a second hard tell. But it's you also have... You also have to remember to decay the highlights, and yeah. that's a memory load. This might not be in personal space range. It's... He might not be close enough to force the ambassador away from the briefcase, which I assume is what he's trying to do here. It would make more sense than trying to bug, even at a really opportune time, given that the is not going to leave for a while. You just don't have much cover, so you're going to have to hope they're just looking somewhere else. And they might, because it's the kind of time where you'd think, who would really bug here? And maybe that's why you can't. minutes now. I'd feel a lot better if he had one fingerprint, if he had a couple inspects, half a microfilm, something. And turn out eight, unsurprisingly, he's going to move. And you got to imagine he's going to add time here in the corner. Yeah, we would assume so. He does exactly that. It's a white test for it just ticks right on up on the clock. And turn out eight, now stepping towards the green bookcase. Nope, never mind. It's going to be statues. So the question for me right now is, has Wodar been looking at these replays and seeing, oh, wow, he's just time adding a lot, even though it doesn't make sense. I should be on guard for it. Because if he has, that seemed like a freebie. Absolutely. Especially when you're over on that side, gets highlight for statues, but that doesn't really mean a whole lot. It certainly means we're not doing bar highlights anymore. That was just an early game strategy. No matter how suspicious Wodar might be oh, or not. Oh, attempt on the way into bar doesn't take and gets caught as well. Wodar, even though he's not in a comfortable lead, he's still in the lead and has yet to relinquish it. Yeah, that's something. Obviously, you can't afford to lose there. You put yourself in a really tough position. Um, and Turnout just continues doing stuff. Time add and then bug. And he had two soft tails done, and he had enough time to get a lot of other stuff done, a lot of other options. But the default position is go, 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 and uh, it costs him this time. Four to five in Wardar's favor is the current scoreline as he steps into the spiral himself. Turnout eight, sniping to keep things level in three, two, one, playing it. Opens things up at the bar with the seduction target. 34% off the first flirt. And should be able to grab a drink and a delegate as half of the party seems to file in behind him. 
Yeah, pretty busy, and an early statue visitor near the Amba, and people just really spread out. Steps away from bar into conversation with the double agent. Might send the twin there. I think the plain twin over to the bar for him. Yeah, it is indeed the plain twin, and you're going to have to do it pretty soon. And yep. Did indeed send the plain twin as the bar starts to slowly filter out. Where'd he go? He did not go to the bar. Uh, might have been bugged out here. We still have some issues with the purloin. It doesn't always take anymore. I know a fix is incoming for the next build, but that build has not been uploaded yet. And that's going to hurt Wardar's plans a little bit, but at least it happened early. If you do yeah. it as a last mission, you're in big trouble, potentially. 54% on the flirt is not a number you want to see. Now he needs a nice close green to finish it up in three. Mental note, plain twin does not approve of Wodar's subterfuge. No, not at all. It's like, I'm not going to be part of this. And now Wodar has to go back to the bar and angrily say, this isn't the drink I ordered. Give me another one. <laughs> and that does look like the plan, yes. You say, oh, well, he's here next to the other twin, I think it is now? Yes. No, it's no, no. Great twin again. Okay. Well, that's just, that just adds insult to injury. So he did want a drink. He just didn't want to get it for you. Yeah, exactly. He's, that's all the worst. He, he, he just doesn't like Wodar is what's happening here. Lots of time gone at this point. Third flirt, 88%. Another delegate goes off as Wodar steps into Orange Starry repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> and then into conversation with the double agent. And the Orange Who Sorry immediately is not a... gets contacted. I like it. Orange Starry's not a conversation circle. You can't do that. There's the Permoin coming off. Papa Danger is much more willing to take that list. Two mission completions now, most of a flirt, minute and 45 left to play. Here's the flirt getting done. That's three mission completions with a minute and 35 left to play, but no other progress. And you've got a lot of options here. Could be statue to statue, inspect, swap. Well, we're certainly starting at statue. Swap first! It's a green test! I don't know how I feel about this, Wodar. I mean, it it's fine if you assume you're going to green swap, right? Yeah. If you knew you were going to. You don't know that, of course, in which case the game could just be over. Oh, and a highlight's going to pick it up. Move. It is a highlight, but it could just be a twin highlight. There's the inspects coming off. Here's the swap coming off. There's the cooldown. Sees the statue, takes the shot, and Turnout keeps things at five. Really good from Turnout there. Really solid. For a second, I thought he was going to get the same twin that refused to delegate shot. <laughs> uh, that would have been perfect revenge there, but it doesn't happen. I just think that he just didn't have that many suspects. I think he basically doubled his highlights with those two late statue visits. So he's just waiting for it at that point. I really don't think Wardar was much of a suspect. If he does that a minute earlier because the first purloin takes, maybe things are different. Maybe, but we'll never know. It's five to five going into the last map of the evening, the last venue of the evening. Ballroom. The oldest venue in the game the one that these two have so much practice on being part of the old guard as they are it's going to be turnout eight opening the last two games on the spy side wodar on the sniper in three two one playing it and each game is a point from here on out each game is a point and this really favors wodar right now his ballroom record he's got a couple dozen games under his belt roughly he's got over a 40 percent spy win rate he's won th three out of four of his sniper games turnout has had a lot of trouble on it though he's played also dozens of games competitively his sniper win rate is very low on ballroom competitively very low well, let's see if he can make it happen on the spy side. Has opened up 51% on the flirt. Very nice little bug move on the way through. That's a big start for turnout. 
Yeah, and his spy win rate, I should say, next to that sniper win rate comment, is actually pretty good. So it's not at all shocking that we might even have a tie with two spy wins. That's how it could work. Turn out eight in the, in the chat saying they were considering, quote unquote, accidentally playing old out ballroom. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I would I would have been super down for that. I don't know if the admins would have been. Second flirt comes off for eighty five percent, and we're in conversation with the double agent. Although nobody else is in conversation, it seems like. I really can't overstate this. Turnout's numbers on ballroom are so lopsided from spy to sniper that he kind of needs to win the spy game because it's going to be so hard for him to win the sniper game based on historical data. Test inspect. Well, he's going to side anyway, though, so it doesn't matter too much because he wasn't going to try to finish in one, so that helps. That's true. Only grabs the one inspect on the cycle and now finishes in to the seduction target. To th This is not a sentence that makes any sense. Steps into the conversation with the seduction target is what I tried to say. That's a mission completion. We're now two down, two to go. It's it's the games. They're just too dramatic. They're just they're breaking us. It's the end of the night. <laughs> Banana bread. There's the contact. One mission to go. We do not have a highlight yet, and we have an inspect. This could be huge. Yeah, I don't see how he's going to shoot for this. The bug is suspected at most, completely invisible, both behind the ambassador's back and behind the pillar. Is Wodar really going to shoot for a statue visit here? I just don't see it. Turnout has played an incredible game of spy on the ballroom so far. He's eyeing up the back statues. You can tell he wants them, and now he makes his move. I don't see Wodar taking this shot, but now is the time. It's just a highlight! That's huge. That's huge. And that's got to be it. And I that's said Turnout had it. to win this, because Turnout's record, again, on Sniper and Ballroom, really suggests that Wodar has a good chance of pulling an even now, and it looks like that's what it's going to take. Looks like Wardar's considering it. Turnout eight on the move. Safety's off. Does oh! he take the shot in time? Wardar had it in the palm of his hand. Somehow let it slip away and turnout gets himself match point. So close. I don't think the bug could have even been that suspected. Again, if it was, it was most just a, hey, it could be a great bug, but I just didn't see it. But the timing of the statue is just so hard to shake in the waning seconds of the game, 45 seconds. That is roughly when spies finish on average on ballroom. It just feels so much like a spy finishing, even if you didn't see the bug that Wodar almost took the shot is actually pretty impressive, but he I didn't doesn't. Think, I didn't think there was any yeah. chance Wodar was going to find Me that. Neither. The fact that he got that close yeah. is incredible. Yeah, that's a that's a really tough shot to take if you don't even maybe suspect the bug that much. It's just a really darn good bug. But he can still salvage a point here. It's not what he was hoping for based on the early season results. These are the kind of matchups where Wodar needs to score both points. But even more than that, he needs to come away with at least one. That may have been a matter of latency. I mean, when you wait till the last couple seconds, that, 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 that. That's what happens sometimes. You know, that's that's the downside of taking that long, even though it usually takes. An incredible, incredible game from both players, but it's Turnout 8 who finds match point from the sniper side of the ballroom. Wodar on the spy, trying to keep things level in our last game of the evening in 3, 2, 1... Playing it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough. But this is the position you still want to be in, at least. It's actually not that bad. Uh, it's a very balanced venue in general, and it's one that's given Turnout a lot of trouble in the past. Instinctive bug attempt as the ambassador comes across. Not very easy to see. Didn't take, but it didn't have to. Also has picked up a, a early flirt for 34% and has green book in hand. So Wodar coming out of the gate swinging. I'd have to look at the exact numbers, but from what I recall, turnout wins something like one or two out of eight sniper games on ballroom competitively. 
So if Wardar plays a really solid game, or even just gets to the end game uh, without knocking out too many suspects, that might be enough to secure a tie. 85% now, after the timer flirt. Looks like he's stepping back to blue bookcase. Does turn out nowhere this came. That's not a pad! Oh, never mind, there's a briefcase there. <laughs> You uh, you scared me there for a second. I scared me too. Yep. Now he's going in the blue bookcase. Misses it again. Misses the that pad. That wasn't a pad either. Okay, that time. You know what? You were just seeing into the future. That's all it was. You predicted he's got, it. Bobo. He's got the transfer. He's grabbing another book to get a fingerprint. What is <laughs> happening? Oh at this my book goodness. Now? What on earth? Oh, no, he can't get away with this, but it looks like he's going to. The flirt happens as well. <laughs> I don't. I can't remember the last time I saw something. And now like it's that. just going to be a contact for the game. Highlight. I think he's just like what? Something. This, so, something. Something isn't right. This could be possible. I mean, I like taking the book once you've done all that, but what a gutsy move to just pick up the book again. There's the contact. And the red. Is turnout eight got enough of this? It doesn't look like he does. He's just low lighting. He's not thinking about the shot. And Wodar. Oh! The safety's off! The shot! Oh, no! off! So close! Why? He. That is so strange! Low light, low light, low light. Look around the party, look around the party, then shoot? What is this set? Oh. Oh, two oh sniper games on ballroom, both the last possible second the snipers decide to go for it. The difference is Wodar is 0.2 seconds later than turnout. Oh, that's I, I like to call it a game of pixels. Um, this is something else. This is a game of microseconds now. That's how close this was. That is absolutely heartbreaking. Oh my god. Yeah, and Wodar comes away with no points, and somewhere, Lazy Bear and particularly Opry Rights right now are salivating in gold. Yeah, that like that has <laughs> That has some serious implications. It has some massive implications, yeah. Between the Yeesh loss and this, in some ways, they could not be more different. Turnout has struggled this season. Yeesh has dominated. Yeesh shut him out. Turnout wins by the narrowest, narrowest of margins. But the result is the same. Zero points for a player who really, really needs it to keep pace. It's tough. It's a great game, but it's a tough game. I've played matches like this. I've lost matches like this. I know how tough it is. My heart goes out to Wodar, and my praise goes out to Turnout, too, for taking that shot just barely there at the end. Didn't look like he was gonna, but he thought one more time, and he thought just in time. Holy hell. What a night. This, yeah. has, been, this has been something else. Yeah, tremendous, uh, tremendous match all around. Uh, wildly entertaining. All right. Mm. Well, uh, my goodness, that was. <laughs> <laughs> We're all straining for words, and I don't think we have any. Maybe we should just call it a night. I think so. I, I have one huge call out to Wodar. Uh, Wodar, thank you for letting us cast this game. You had the power yeah. to deny us the ability. Wodar is in charge of running these streams, and uh, that's a hard call. You knew yeah, how entertaining it would be. Thank you for letting us cast it. Holy shit. Yeah, he really uh, took one for the team here and letting us cast what's, again, got to be a very difficult loss. And uh, we know he'll bounce back uh, because Wodar always does. All right. Well, um, we that that does it for us. A uh, great set of matches tonight. We opened up with Pwn Noob over Falcon Hit. Uh, I believe, what was it? Was it JD over T-Flame in set two? Yeah, seven to four, yeah. Uh, and then uh, Turnout 8 over Wodar, a uh, pretty sizable upset although a lot of history between the two players so maybe a little bit more meta coming in there uh 
And what a set of games. Um, we will be back next Saturday. I don't believe there's anything else, no little tournaments going on this week. Uh, remember, in all of your games, Aquarium is now legal. If you haven't practiced it, you should. I am specifically talking to myself in that regard. <laughs> Note to self, on cast, so I'll definitely remember it. Practice Aquarium. That's right. Um, your two casters today were Toboshi. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. And warning track. I just want to point out one more thing, rather than just saying goodbye. There were five mission wins in that set. Oh, good night, wow. good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this has been Sloppy Davis. We will be back next week on Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific, and then back again on Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific. And yeah, we hope you'll join us. The game is Spy Party. You can get it at spyparty.com. You can get it on Steam. And we are gonna be heading out. All right, thanks, everybody. <laughs>